All right, hi everybody, this is Tony, and for the next couple minutes you'll be listening to the smooth sounds of my sexy voice while I guide you through Flash Video Encoder. So, first thing that we need to do is go ahead and open up Flash Video Encoder. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is add video, of course. I already have a video queued up and ready, so let's open that up. Now, by default, these are some pretty good settings, but let's say you want a little bit more. So you go over here to settings, and this is what we see. So right now, what this is telling us is that it's going to be using Flash 8 with medium quality, 400 kilobytes a second. First of all, I always like to name it first. Let's go ahead and name this as 3D model. Then let's go over here to video. Now right now, the video codec is on on to 7 to, I don't know what that is. Who cares? Let's use Swanson, shall we? Now, to save some file size, it's always good to run it at a smaller frame per second. Currently, this video is at 29.97. Let's go ahead and do it at about half that, so 15 frames a second. Now, right now, the quality of the film is going to be at medium quality. Now, you can decide to take it to low, high, or custom, all having different bit rates. Or you can manually adjust it right here. Do what you want. I'm keeping it at 400. Now let's go over to audio. Now currently my video doesn't have any audio, but this is where you would go to change that. You go over here to data rate, and then you can decide what kilobyte per second rate your audio will be at, and deciding whether it's gonna be in stereo or mono. Our next step, let's go over to crop and resize. Now right here, you can decide to crop your video. Like right now, I'm gonna cut out just the ATD that you see in front of you, and it's only gonna export that little teeny bit. I wanna go ahead and see the entire thing. Let's resize it instead. Good rule of thumb is usually standard television is at about 720 by 480. If you actually cut the width and the height in half, it would actually be a quarter of the video, hence saving you four times as much space on your final file size. So let's go ahead and do that. So our final file size actually becomes 360 by 240. Now, this video is only three seconds long, but let's say I only wanted one second. I didn't like this beginning part, so I started right about there. Then I cut the ending right about there. Now it's only gonna export that little teeny bit. Now when we're all done with this, we hit okay. So now you can see that our video encoder has changed our options. And now we're ready to start the queue. It'll start exporting and you'll actually see a preview of it as it goes. Let's see what kind of a difference flash video encoder made. Now our original video was 57.6 megabytes. And now we've been able to squash it down to 124 kilobytes. Whoopity do. All right, so now that we have this, what the hell, let's put it on the internet. So I've already pulled up my YouTube account, Baloney is Cool, which I am. And you'll see whenever you're signed in, there'll be a little tab called Upload. Now it gives you the option to name, describe, blah, blah, blah. If you've ever been on a YouTube video, which if you haven't, you're probably 60 years old. But if you have, you know what all this means. So we'll go ahead and type in all the information. This is just a bunch of junk. I don't really care, and probably you don't either. Just use the default settings. Finally, hit upload video. It'll ask you to choose your file, and then we're gonna tell it to upload the video. Now YouTube is a sneaky little bastard. It'll tell you that your video has already been uploaded, but it still is uploading. So if you're doing this, don't be a retard and immediately turn off your computer. It's probably still uploading. And depending on your file size, it might take a little while, but that is how you upload videos using Flash Encoder to YouTube. Amazing, isn't it? My voice has been sexy, and you've been listening to Tony. Peace out, bitches.